Level 6, Grade D, Sequences and Nth Terms. OK, Nth Term of the Sequence. Standard linear sequence that goes up by the same number each time. We use this method, which we look, always look to see what it goes up by. If it goes up by the same number each time, that number is what this sequence is based on. That number is the times table this sequence is based on. So if I write out the 4 times table, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, you can see that there's a connection between these and that connection is that I need to subtract 1 from the 4 times table. Now the 4 times table is the sequence 4n because the first term is 4 times 1, the second term is 4 times 2, the third term is 4 times 3, the fourth term is 4 times 4 so it's 4 times whatever the term is. So if I wanted the tenth one, I'd do 4 times 10. So the n stands for whatever term in the sequence we're looking at. Now, this sequence here that I actually want is a 4 times table, or 4 times n, take away 1 each time. And that's our nth term, 4n minus 1. Um, let's, just do, let's just do another example. Um, let's do... 5, 8, 11, and 14. Now this sequence is going, hopefully going up by 3 each time. Starting from 5, so this is based on the 3 times table, 3, 6, 9, 12. So it's based on 3n, the 3 times table. And we can see, if we look carefully, that this is just the 3 times table plus 2 each time. So we're adding 2, so this is 3n plus 2. And that's the basics for working out the nth term of the sequence, where the number goes up by the same number each time. Now, if we're given an nth term, how do we work out a particular term of the sequence? But if I want the fourth term, that's telling me n equals 4. So I just replace the n in the sequence, 5n minus 2, with a 4. So that's 5 times 4 minus 2. And 5 times 4 is 20. Take away 2 is 18. If I wanted the second term in the sequence, then n would be 2, and we would have 5 times 2 take away 2, which is 8. If I wanted the 21st term, then n would be 21, and we'd have 5 lots of 21 take away 2, 5 lots of 21 are 105, take away 2 is 103. So this is why the nth term is very powerful, because you can work out any term of the sequence without having to work out any of the other terms. OK, some practice questions. Oops. The nth term of the sequence, 5, 9, 13, what's it go up by? Well, it's going up by 4, and then 4, and then 4, and then 4. So this is based on the 4 times table. So if I write the 4 times table above it, then I can see, that's the 4 times table, which is 4n, that I'm adding 1 each time to the 4 times table. So I've got the 4n plus 1. So that is my nth term for this sequence. This sequence is going down by 2 each time, so that's going down by 2, minus 2 each time. So, in the same idea, we work out the minus, write down the minus 2 times table, minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, minus 8, minus 10, and is there a connection between those? Well, from minus 2 to 20, I've got to add 22. If I add 22 to minus 4, I get, minus, I get 18, and add 22, I get 16, and add 22, I get that, so this is the minus 2n times minus 2 times table, which is minus 2n, and this is the same thing, plus 22. Now that can be left like that, or you can rearrange it to have 22 minus 2n. OK, we've got a sequence. What's the second term of the sequence? Well, that's just when n is 2, so we've got 2 times 2 plus 7, that's 4 plus 7, which is 11. And the third term in this sequence is going to be 10 minus 3 lots of 3, so you must work this bit out first because with times before we subtract. So 10 take away 9 is 1. 